June's 2021 update. If you're interested in the setup we have at home, please pause the video and take a look at this slide. We've got our Octopus Intelligent billing for the month and we used 63.8 kilowatt hours at the cheaper 7.14 pence per kilowatt rate and 0.7 kilowatt hours at the more expensive 30.94 rate. It's worth mentioning that the Octopus bill here is slightly out of sync with our um, monthly update data. Moving back to the Tesla data, we had 997.1 kilowatt hours of home usage and we had an average of 33.2 kilowatt hours per day. For our generation, we generated 100 sorry 1111 kilowatt hours the least generation we had um, in june was 8.7 kilowatt hours for the day and we averaged 37.1 kilowatt hours throughout june we had a high of 61.2 kilowatt hours and that's the most we've ever had from the three systems that we have we got 243.2 kilowatt hours out of the Tesla Powerwall. We pulled from the grid three times during June. And um, the first two earlier on in the month, seen above the the, the line here in blue and green, um, that was um, to test the new Omi into integration with the Octopus Intelligent tariff and the one right at the end of the month and um, that was simply because we had a poor end to the month and we were self-powered for 96 percent of june and we saved 300 pound compared with what our tariff would have cost us without the solar and the tesla power wall and we generated 111 percent of our home usage our generation from our original three kilowatt array was quite low compared with what it has been um, in previous Junes, but we got 479.8 kilowatt hours out of our original three kilowatt peak array. Um, and all this data is taken from the SMA inverters. Our second three kilowatt peak array and inverter produced 472.6 kilowatt hours. And our third small 1.2 kilowatt peak array um, generated 172 kilowatt hours. And that gives a total at the inverters of 1,124 kilowatt hours. From the MG5, we did 398 miles in that car. And it also had a service this month at a cost of £32. Um, our e-golf did 491 miles. So it's a total of 889 miles altogether. And what the cost of that 889 miles was £3.27. And out of the 1,155 kilowatt hours we rather pulled from the grid or generated ourselves, we start at the very top of the pie chart with grid export. We actually exported 131.5 kilowatt hours or 11%. And the car charging, moving clockwise, um, we used 233 kilowatt hours um, at 20%, and that was a cost of £1.57. There was no heating, so there's no cost or usage there. Um, cooking wise, we used 5% at 54.8 kilowatt hours or 49 pence. Washing and drying was 55.3 kilowatt hours at 5% at 49 pence. The fridge freezer used 3% at 36.3 kilowatt hours. Um, the general home, so that's everything we haven't got monitored. Um, used 393 kilowatt hours or 33 percent of our energy usage at a cost of three pounds and 54 pence and finally our hot water um, was 24 percent of our available energy um, 261 kilowatt hours of that came from the solar and we did draw a bit from the grid over a couple of nights of 23 point no sorry 23 kilowatt hours but altogether that came to 24% at a cost of £2.55. As usual, we'll summarise up until the end of June of 2022. 
So we've been grid free for 78 days. We've done 4,459 miles at a cost of 41 pounds and 39 pence. We've imported 5.1 megawatt hours. Um, we've had a solar contribution of 4.7 kilowatt uh, megawatt hours. Um, so that's a total kilowatt hour of 10,557. The electricity cost to date is 481 pounds and 63 pence. We've got a bit of gas of £21.96, pence, but that's now cut off. We no longer have gas. So that's a total cost of in 2022 of £503.59. We've now had our second FIT payment. So we've had £1,044.71 pence from the FIT payments we receive. And that gives us a balance of minus £541.12 pence including any VAT and daily charges. As usual, thanks for watching. If you've got any comments or questions, please add it to the section below, and I'll leave you with the daily uh, data from the Tesla app throughout June.